Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the East Coast Quarantine Kitchen, episode 84. Lovely to see you on this, well, it's a nice Sunday. We'll call it a nice Sunday. Uh, firstly, thank you for everyone that answered the poll. Just trying to get some information here. We've got the, the new camera style versus the old style. Some really great feedback. I don't think it's like a either or. I think you're going to see me kind of shifting back and forth. Uh, depending on a whole host of different things. So don't worry, the selfie mode is not going anywhere. I heard you loud and clear. We'll keep this going, and then I'm also gonna practice a little bit more with the camera, because I think when you're going back and trying the recipes, I think while you're cooking, the other mode is better in IGTV anyway. This is ongoing. Okay, Andy, that is enough about the camera angles. What are we cooking today, for goodness sakes? Well, today we are going, as I mentioned yesterday, we're gonna be baking today. I wanted something that was a little bit easy because frankly, yesterday felt like a grind, which I don't like, but those will happen when you're doing 100 days of cooking. Um, but what we're gonna do today is something down the lane of nostalgia, which you know I love. This is something that you would have growing up if you stopped at like a bakery on a road trip, you would have seen these 100%. And what I love about these, they've got my last name in it. So today we are doing haystacks. My favorite part of these is I love chocolate, I love coconut, and you know I am obsessed with oats. So that's really all this recipe is. It's dead easy. It's likely going to be stuff that you have in your cupboard anyway. Uh, I'll just show you kind of what, what ingredients we're going to be using here. I got them all set up in advance. So we're going to have three cups of rolled oats. Oh, I'm getting, getting used to this again. Three cups rolled oats, two cups of sugar, a half cup of milk, a half pup, cup of cocoa, half cup of butter, uh, a full cup of coconut, a little bit of vanilla, and that's kind of it. It's dead easy. There is no baking involved today. Um, it's just kind of heating up and assembly. So without further ado, and I apologize for the baby yelling in the background, little little sleep regression here, but we're we're doing great with it. We're really enjoying it. Um, but yeah, enough of me blabbing on. Let's uh, let's get these assembled so we can eat one. Okay, so this is absolutely dead easy. Anyone can make these. What we're gonna do is in a pot, and I'm gonna bring this, this up to uh, like a boil. So I'm gonna put in the half cup of milk, the half cup of butter, let that melt away. I'm gonna pour in the two cups of sugar. And you wanna make sure that this totally melts down and all that sugar is totally dissolved. Get that in there, and then also a half cup of cocoa powder, and I just have a little dash of salt in there. So we're gonna let all of that kind of melt away, come up to a boil. And then we're gonna to wanna to cook that out for about five minutes once it's at kind of that, that higher temperature boil. Um, I'll show you what this looks like, but just have a whisk on hand, keep a close eye, don't go wandering around. This is probably gonna, again, once it comes to boil, five minutes cooking. Okay, while that is coming up to temp, what I'm gonna do here now is also prepare um, some bake sheets with a little bit of parchment paper on there. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this up to a boil, and then we've got the three cups of rolled oats. Sorry, I'm moving the camera down. Three cups rolled oats and then a cup of coconut. If you wanna put like pecans in there, that would be lovely. A little dash of vanilla. So once this comes up to a boil and we cook it out, we're gonna put all of those dry ingredients into a bowl, pour the chocolate over it, give that a mix, and then get that ice cream scoop onto the parchment paper, and that is it. We just have to let it fully cool. Dead simple. Again, anyone can do these, and they're going to be delicious. Man, trying to get this phone to stand up is really tricky. I'm using Jess's. Uh, because my mic is messed up, as you all know. Uh, anyway, she has a phone case that is like a brick. It's enormous. It's it's something. It's something. Oh, here she comes. I better be quiet. Um, so I just cooked out that mixture for about five minutes. It really has like nice consistency to it. And now it's really easy. I'm going to take that three cups of rolled oats, fire that in, the one cup of coconut. So you want like the flaked coconut. And sweetened on sweet doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm going to put in probably a half teaspoon of vanilla, and then pour in this chocolate mixture. And that's really it. I'll give this a, um, I've got a spatula, I'll fold this all in together, but that's really it. We're there. How many recipes have I done that have oats in it? That's crazy. I do love oats, I just didn't realize how much. Okay, now, the mixture is all mixed up. That's what she's looking like. And so I'm just gonna take my ice cream scoop and get like a good size little scooper and put that down on the parchment paper. Again, you're gonna to wanna to work pretty quick because these will start to solidify. But these are super fun. I have so many memories of eating these as a little fat kid. So lovely. So lovely, a little glass of milk with these? Are you kidding me? That'd be love, 
Lee, this is summertime to me in the Maritimes. Look at that. They smell so good. I love chocolate and salt. So I've got this Maldon salt and putting it on. I'm being quite liberal with it because uh, I think it'll be super delicious and I want it to be able to come out on the, the photo I'm getting. So I'm just gonna grab a picture of this uh, and we're done. I'd say let this chill for like 10 minutes or until it's like the consistency you're looking for. These are gonna be really, really good. I'm very excited about these. So yeah, there we go. Okay, we got the shot. Jess is out. She's just dropping off V at her mom's place. Uh, so we're just gonna wait. But these took, these honestly took seven minutes to make. These are great. Uh, when that chocolate craving hits, these are easy. These are very easy. See, what I would like to do, just talking through the video stuff a little bit more, is to be able to give you guys the behind the scenes, but then also film this for IGTV so we get to meet more people. So people from elsewhere can, uh, can find it as well. So trying to find that delicate balance, but you guys come first. Trust me. All right, sweet Jessica's back. Hey Hello. Jess, how Hi. we doing? Good. Back on the phone today. Yeah, how are you feeling about that? I'm liking it. I mean, I, I, I creatively, I did a little bit. I think that this is for the people. <laughs> this is what this, I, I like, I like the camera a lot. And I think that we'll, we'll be incorporating it a lot, but yeah. we can't forget what got us here. Jess? Yeah, a little bit of column A, a little bit of column That's what a. it's all about. Yeah. Okay. That's what's all like about. That. All right. Well, just today I made haystacks. Yeah, these look cool. These are fun. I mm. have a thing for oat mm. uh, desserts, it turns out. Mm -hmm. Nostalgic and oat is really my two lanes of desserts. I think the, and those kind of collide almost. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I put quite a lot of salt on top. Ooh, I did that for the I photo, like but I think it'll also be delicious. Mm. But uh, I was chirping you a little bit earlier about the size of your phone, um, but you'll see that. Yeah, well, guess post. whose phone is broken? Yeah, good point. Yeah. Good point. Uh, all right, why don't you dive into this? All right, cool. I um, think we should share one of these. There's a uh, quite a lot of sugar in them. Excuse me. Well, I'll decide. Okay. <laughs> um, so, okay, these, first of all, there's the signature Andy Hay ice cream scoop. Yeah. Um, which I love. I love, yeah, I they're love very the uniform yeah. and they're quite, uh, um, there's quite a lot to them. I'll say like traditionally, um, haystacks, I feel like are more like, lots of shredded coconut so it actually kind of looks like a haystack i'm gonna end the video we need to talk uh sure yeah i, I think that it would be longer coconut strands right um right. So i was working with what we had in our fridge here sure, or in our, in I'm, our just, cupboard. I'm just saying like if you if you google sounds like you're slandering me if you google haystacks like i think it's more of like a a longer coconut eat the cookie please Oh, it's a cookie. Okay, well, that's different. <laughs> it's a, I think these would be in the cookie category. What do we think? These are... They're lovely. insane. Yeah, they're, they're insane. They're super lovely. I Chocolate came really close. I had um, my salt out, and I almost put salt in instead of sugar, and it was two cups of sugar. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine, Jess? This is what I'll say, though. They're too sweet. They're too sweet. Mm -hmm. So maybe a little bit of, hold on. Less sugar. You're gonna agree with me. Um, I don't agree with you. I think they're, they're, a, they're a dessert, they're a cookie. Yeah, I know that, but like, I think they're, they're too sweet for me. I feel like I can't taste anything else other than sugar. Like I get it. Like I, I want, like that salt on there. I want to taste some of the coconut. I want to taste some of the chocolate. I want to taste the oats. Like, and I, I, and mostly I just taste like something very, very sweet. I disagree, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> well, folks, I guess that was a total waste of time. No, get it, come back, come back. Two cups of sugar? Yeah. Let's go one and a half. Let's go one and a quarter. And these would be great. Like make these. That's this is what I, producer just saying. Make these. Do less sugar. I don't agree, but <laughs> we'll see what goes in the recipe. We'll talk this out. It's a, it's a, I think it should be off camera though, because I think we're gonna have some words it's here. Gonna get ugly. Yeah, it's gonna get ugly. All right. Anyway, folks, thank you for your uh, your continued patience, your continued tuning in, and thank you for your feedback on the whole camera setup. We're we're learning. We're gonna we're gonna play between both of them. But thank you all. We will see you tomorrow for episode 85.